Hi, uh, this video is gonna be about touch UI widgets or uh, specifically uh, how to create a touch UI widget in AEM. So before that, let me share the use case with you. Uh, what I'm doing is I was creating a, a product uh, using AEM e-commerce API and the product is a book so for the book what I needed was a kind of a widget where I can give uh, give a rating uh, for the book let me just first show uh, how the widget looks like so the widget that I have created is this one I call it uh, a rating widget and uh, this is how it works I hover over the star and uh, the star glows blue and uh, if I click on it the value where I click uh, that will be retained so this is the functionality for the widget now let me just show you some existing book mm. so this is the one uh, which I have already created so uh, the value which I have already saved here I'm going to update it and then I'm going to click on save and the value here it will be updated so now it says 8 in previously it was saying 6 so this is uh, this is a touch touch UI widget I created uh, another touch UI widget for the same functionality and it works like a slider when I slide it then its value changes and uh, when I press on save so the new value it will show here so both of these they they do the same work they retain the rating for this book and both of these are touch UI widgets now let me just show how how did I created uh, these widgets so first let's just see how to include that in our dialog I'll go to scaffolding catalog and yeah so the first one is uh, this one this one is with the sliders uh, this is the one so it's sling resource type is apps custom components rating and the second one having a star rating this is the one bar hyphen rating so let's just go to apps custom component rating so rating so the first and uh, most important thing uh, while creating a touch UI widget is is to give resource super type as field and uh, this is an abstract widget it does not have any functionality but it provides a basis for for you to uh, create your own uh, UI widgets let's go to CRX and see uh, what's there at uh, this location so this is the one it has field.jsp the field description says that uh, it's an abstract component that extends by actual field implementation and all. So the most important thing here is that this render.jsp currently it is empty it's because it's an abstract uh, UI widget but in our uh, in our component we need to write a render.jsp however I want to show it on on the front end so for the slider what I have done is I'm using Corel UI to show the slider I'm not using some uh, external library I'm just using AEM's Corel UI to uh, show the slider and uh, these are all different classes which I need to add in order to uh, show that slider now apart from this I'm using this uh, attribute builder class so how this uh, looks on front end let's just see so I have this input here in my JSP and if I inspect it on the HTML page then this is the one input this is the same input that uh, I created there but uh, I did not specify name or type or anything however I wrote everything here inside this attribute builder so inside this attribute builder I'm adding uh, one CSS class I'm adding a name which I have taken from uh, from the configuration I'm adding the type and uh, I'm adding a value so all of this is going to come here on the HTML 
is because of uh, a class that uh, I have added there. <clears throat> that is how I take the attributes because uh, if I see on uh, on my dialog uh, the name is reading but uh, on uh, render.jsp I don't have a way of knowing that what name is written on the dialog for this and uh, I need to get that value dynamically so that is why I get this from from the configuration and uh, that is how I build this input field now this is about having just uh, a plain HTML what if you want to use more than just HTML what if you want uh, to use some external uh, uh, JavaScript library in uh, in your touch UI widget so because of that reason I created uh, another uh, UI widget which makes use of a JavaScript library called bar rating so uh, it's it works exactly the same as uh, as your components JSP you write some HTML over here so I have written some uh, some HTML in uh, in this JSP file and uh, the second thing is I have created uh, or I have used an uh, external library uh, called bar rating here in order to uh, show those uh, those blue stars and uh, getting all that functionality because I didn't want to uh, create all that functionality uh, from scratch that uh, if I hover over it then uh, it changes its value and uh, if I click on it it retains the value uh, so all those things I did not want to uh, create those myself and uh, they were already uh, built into some uh, JavaScript library so I'm just uh, making use of an uh, external JavaScript library bar rating uh, in my touch UI widget so it's not that difficult to create a touch UI widget instead it's very easy to do that previously what we needed to do with the classic UI is we needed to create a whole JS if uh, if we wanted to create a classic widget but uh, but we here we can uh, simply do that uh, by creating uh, an HTML file so to summarize if I want to create a touch UI widget first what I need is I need to have a super type of field and the second thing is I need to overwrite render.jsp and inside this I need to write some some HTML pertaining to my uh, my widget so that is how I I create this uh, UI widget hope you like this video please leave a comment if you have any questions uh, thank you